A lot of mind-blowing innovations are taking place on the internet today, April 1st. Tech giant Google is perhaps making the most changes to its product line. It will start to offer Google Knows Beta. Google explains. Our flagship olfactory knowledge feature enabling users to search for smells. Our mobile aroma indexing program has been able to amass a 15 million centibyte database of smells from around the world. To use the program, simply search, click a smell, and get your nose as close to the screen as possible. It's attractive. Google also featured a new app that allows users to teleport and added a feature to Google Maps. A new treasure map mode allows users to find buried treasures all over the world. It's also a fine day to book a trip to some rare locations. Hotel Scan is adding new destinations, including Hobbiton, Gotham City, and the Emerald City. Redbox is diversifying its products. It will now offer sandwiches in addition to movies and games. Thank goodness. And in a big move, Twitter announced it will change its entire business model. TWTTR would continue to be a free service, but in the 140 character count, only consonants are allowed. If you want to keep your valuable vowels, it'll cost you five bucks a month for the full Twitter capabilities. And IGN announces Apple is coming out with a new product. Apple's iPlay features a simple and slick design and just one game. Angry Birds. And finally, some shocking news from the video world. Vimeo will now be known as Vimeo, home to all of your favorite cat videos. And that's a good thing for you cat lovers because YouTube announced some potentially disappointing news today. After its eight-year search to find the best video ever, the company will no longer accept videos after midnight. After eight amazing years, it is finally time to review everything that has been uploaded to our site and begin the process of selecting a winner. YouTube says it will be back online in 2023 and will feature the winner of the competition and nothing else. We at Newsy remind you to take these stories lightly, considering it is April Fool's Day. For Newsy, I'm Lauren Gorris.